What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's trick, we're gonna show you how to separate the blacks from reds in a deck of cards behind your back. If you're interested, keep watching. Before we go any further, I'm gonna do a quick performance so you can see what the trick actually looks like. So they say that a magician should never reveal a secret, but we're gonna do exactly that. As you can see here, the deck is split up into black cards and red cards. So half the deck is black, half the black, half the deck is red. Now, they were all separated into individual stacks and now we're mixing them up all together. So now we're gonna have a combination of black cards and red cards all entwined with each other and all in a mixed up order compared to before when they were all separate. So as you can see here, they are now all separated up. Blacks and reds all mixed up in together. Now, this is where I reveal the secret. What we're gonna do is put these back together so all the blacks and reds are together. So they're gonna be in the same spot so how they were before, you had all the black cards and then all the red cards. Now, it's a simple thing. All you have to do is say Abracalabrador. And once you say Abracalabrador, the deck then miraculously goes back together. So all the black cards are together. And then we go on and all the red cards are together. And that is the secret of how you change your playing cards. Just say Abracalabrador. So let's talk about the explanation for this. What you're gonna need is a stripper deck and the rest is easy. What you're gonna do is there's a couple of different ways you can do it. So you can do it like me and have all of the red separated from all the black, mix them all together and then put them back together if you wanna do it that way. If you do, all you have to do is take out all of the red cards, have them all together and have all the black cards together. Take one set of the cards, rotate it the other way. I've already done it so then when they're together, they're gonna to be separate. So as the stripper deck uses the tape of cards, you can do the same with the, the similar tricks of where you split the deck in half. So I can split it there and there's the black half and that is the red half. And just like so, that's split up. Now when these are shuffled in towards each other, the red tapered side would be different to the black side so you can easily strip them out and put them all together in one stack. So you can either do it that way, that's the way I did it in performance, or you can already have these shuffled up so you can be doing different tricks and stuff with it. And then when it comes to the time, you can just say, right, what we're gonna do is do a trick, take it behind your back, separate all the two halves, and then you're good to go. You can do stuff like uh, Out of This World, you set up for that. If you have all of the blacks and all the reds together, Super easy. So again, even without showing the spectator this, you can have all of your cards set up so you can do out of this world with the spectator just by using the stripper deck because you strip them all out and then they're all facing the same way. Give the spectator the cards, go on to do that trick. So you don't even have to actually use this as a trick per se to show the spectator that you can divvy the cards into two separate piles. You can just do it on the offbeat just so you've got set up for the next trick. Now what you can do is um, if you have all the cards already shuffled up, like I said, you would have the black cards and red cards facing the other ways for the taper so that when they are already mixed up, they're easy enough to strip out because the reds are facing one way, blacks are facing the other way. So again, all these cards are shuffled up slightly. But then if you look at the deck there, you'll be able to see that there's quite a lot of sticky out bits. Now to a spectator, they'll just see that as the cards are just sort of the way the cards are. So they're not straight, they're not gonna be held in a perfectly straight line. So now you've got it set up, so they're all shuffled. Now all you do is when you take the strip, so you're stripping these cards out, all of these cards are now the red cards. So again, you can just strip them all out, put them to the back of the deck, and you can continue to strip if you want just to make sure you've got any sort of loose stragglers like there. That was a loose one that was sort of didn't get picked up in the original one. Like I said, you can use this as a showman piece so you can sort of show that you can separate the deck into black and red. Super simple behind your back. Make up a story like I did so you can say this is a secret. You just say Abracalabrador and does it by itself. But like I said, when you're doing tricks, you can just sort of look through the deck and say like, oh, there's, there's the blacks, there's the reds. You just sort of separate them up, flip them the other way and then even when it's shuffled, you can just sort of strip them all out. And then when they're stripped out, you're good to go for out of this world. So you can have all of the, uh, your black cards and your red cards separate. So you're good to go for that. And like I said, for the out of this world routine as well, you can just sort of have it set up. So your reds are facing one way, your blacks are facing the other way. So whenever you want to, you can strip them out. They're in two separate piles. Don't let the spectator know, perform that trick. Absolutely mind blown. 
Yeah, that's how you can easily separate the red from blacks using a stripper deck. Uh, if you're interested in more stripper deck tricks, there should be a playlist on the screen now, which is full of stripper deck ones. There's also a video which has got five combined, which is a slightly longer video, so if that's something that you enjoy, watch that one as well. Uh, if you've got any issues or comments with a trick, please leave a comment below and we'll have a look at that. Until next time, see ya.